Hello everyone, welcome. In this quick tutorial, I'm just going to walk through uh, the Microsoft document for sending an email using the send grid. So this is a really good feature if you want to send reliable transaction email delivery. Uh, this service is scalable. Uh, you can get real-time analytics and it's got a very flexible API and that would that allows a very easy integration so if you look over here there are some common uh, use cases so it, it can automatically send receipts or purchase con confirmation to customers administering distribution distribution list for sending customers monthly flyers and promotions collecting real-time metrics for things like block email and customer engagement, forwarding customer inquiries, or even processing incoming emails. <clears throat> okay, you can go to the sendgrid.com for more information. There is a C-Shop library for SendGrid uh, that's available on the GitHub repo. Okay, we're gonna create the SendGrid account. We are actually not gonna use any console application to test that uh, email how you actually use this uh, that you can do it and instructions are in here but in this one I'm just gonna focus on what you need to do on the Azure side to get uh, the same grade uh, instance ready so Azure customers can unlock 25,000 free emails each month can you believe that this 25,000 free monthly emails will give you access to advanced reporting and analytics all API's so let's go to our Azure portal and let's search for SendGrid. SendGrid account. So let's go there. Let's see if we have any. I don't need this cloud shell at the moment. I have no SendGrid account right now. So what you need to do, you need to create. Uh, if you look at this, this is going to this is giving us a little bit different interface so let's see if I have uh, that icon Apple level anymore or Microsoft has changed it looks like Microsoft has changed most like on the marketplace we have a send grid so let's click on that one as well just to make sure double check that uh, this is a send grid and this is a send grid account <coughs> I'm just gonna search for same grid one more time and in the documentation they're saying uh, in the Azure portal create a resource so let's do exactly that and see if I get a different icon I just want to be 100% yeah so this is uh, from the marketplace so this is uh, let's use that one which is now it's matching up Azure customers review of 25,000 emails per month free with paid packages starting 9.95 per month so let's get that one so let's say create uh, create same grid account so now we are back and we are matching the directions so we're gonna send uh, we're gonna create a name of the account so we can say say for my account you know create a new resource group I'm gonna call Basu send grid rg is the resource group that I'm going to create uh, name account details is send grid okay so that's all I needed password is something that only I know okay so I got the passwords pricing tier if you click on it you will be able to see what are the different kind of pricing tiers available we have free uh, where you have uh, email per month 25,000 advanced reporting is available custom integration available advanced delivery available uh, what's not available is your uh, dedicated IP address sub user management uh, but you also have a 24 7 support available look at that so that's uh, I'm for the lab purpose this free plan is okay so I'm just gonna get out of here keep what we have here you need to provide some contact information so let's put some of that stuff 
and <coughs> just put some information that's uh, relevant to you and once that's done I'm not worried about tags right now so I can just create this same grid account and let's go back so we have done we have done that we have done that intern name to identify the same grid service so we have all done that we have done uh, all of that we looked at the pricing tier uh, and if you have promotional code you can actually also use your promotional code so this is let's see what we have right here so it's, it's right now it's creating the same grid account it's a couple things that we didn't have to do uh, from here is like uh, is like uh, uh, choose your pricing tier it, uh, we had a different little bit different uh, looking uh, window uh, that gave us a little bit different options for us so once this is done well as soon when it's uh, going on the deployment we can also do go back home create a resource and we can create same grid another time I'm just I just want to look at if we missed and that reports is already done so from here the interface is looks a little bit different than when uh, probably when Microsoft developed this lab so when you uh, click on that uh, resource group new and then you have the pricing tier it looks like a li little bit different this time and when over here free pricing tier you can click on this plan and this uh, display is is different okay so that's the only thing that's different but the uh, one that we created is already done so let's go to the resource and let's see what how can you use this so first of all the resource is deployed in this resource group that we created it's a free pricing tier deployed in the East US which is my favorite deployment location and then uh, then you have some guidance how to use the same grid uh, using Java Node.js, PHP and .NET put it to work you have some more example and documentation they're all available uh, over in this area uh, let's go over here so once that's done as I said it's gonna show up in here and uh, click on uh, click on the manage button to uh, initiate the email verification process so let's see if there's a manage button available to us yeah this is a manage button so if you click on it uh, the email that you have provided it will start a verification process for this okay so let's come back over here <clears throat> if you don't verify you can only send up to 100 emails per day until you have verified your account so do it when you get a chance and uh, if you ever need to modify your subscription to see the same contact setting you can also do it from the from the dashboard so you can come over here and looks like overview there should have been a contact in some place uh, let's over here counter show grid so essentials resource group and all that and then uh, you gotta go to all settings to get that Okay, this I also don't see the but I know I see the button for changing password and resetting the password uh, I don't see any link that link that they're showing so maybe under properties you know properties also not showing the contact details so overview I guess you probably have to do this maybe then it's gonna show up okay so over here if you, if you do the user authentication and actually yeah so it's gonna say hey send the confirmation email I can send the confirmation confirmation email the sending hey did check check your email so I can go to my email and I'm gonna pause the video okay I have just confirmed the email from my mailbox so now it has given me this new interface from the sendgrip.com 
where you know my recent activity email activity is not showing up so you can go this is probably the dashboard view you can look at API design libraries stats and all kinds of other features and now available to me after I have done my email validation all right so come over here uh, let's see anything else that we need in the same grid dashboard select setting and then API keys so yeah so if you're developing an application you need those API keys so where are my API keys uh, let's see over here here select settings and then API keys on your same grid dashboard okay so in this dashboard you gotta go to settings and then API keys so if you click on that it should give you access to the API key and the username and here actually you don't have anything you would need to create an API key and once you have the key available to you and then you can uh, use the key okay key name And then let's see, let's just create that name. For security, we cannot show you that again. So this is the password or the uh, API key. So make sure to copy that one. And because it's not gonna show you again, so and you say just done. Done. Copy, then done. Okay, I actually had to cop click on it to copy it. So now you have uh, the API ID key ID is this and API key is what we have just copied so now we can use this um, send grid API key to build our application and send emails let's go back so we have done all that um, now this is the part that I'm not going to do today but if you want to do a little bit further you can open up a uh, Visual Studio uh, environment ID and from that one what you need to do you need to make sure that you had the same grade uh, module installed and once you have that installed pretty much you'll be calling the same grade module or library whatever you say and we already have some uh, some sample code that you can use and uh, in the sample code you'll be able to send uh, emails and verify that SendGrid is able to uh, send the emails that that you want all right so that's all i wanted to cover in this video it's a really simple way to uh, create a send grid instance and use it for your applications thank you for watching the video